Well, it's exciting to be a part of the MCU and um, and also to be sort of working on this series that is kind of introducing kind of a whole new storyline and showing um, the uh, the Marvel fans, uh, introducing them to a new world. What attracted me to the role of Mobius is when I spoke with the director and Kate uh, walked me through uh, the dynamic um, that would exist between Loki and Mobius and um, and it just sounded like something that was kind of interesting the way it was going to sort of be a little bit of a chess match. And, uh, you know, and are these guys, is there, uh, is it just a business uh, where Mobius is, you know, using uh, Loki? Is there any feeling behind there? Um, it's just, there's uh, kind of interesting uh, nuances to play. Um, Mobius, I think that that is what sort of, if anything, can help keep them on equal footing and stay, you know, a couple steps ahead of Loki. It's the fact that he has the TBA behind him and what the TBA kind of represents this sort of power to control the, uh, the timeline. And so the fact that I'm, you know, able to uh, know things about Loki that he doesn't even know about himself um, gives me, uh, you know, a certain power over him and, and helps me to negotiate with him. Yeah, I think that the relationship between Loki and my character Mobius is um, very fluid. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, there are two people that if, if there's a way for them to sort of use each other to, for their agenda, they'll do that. And I think in a way, even though you can't trust Loki, that they're in not being able to trust him and knowing that about him, Mobius does in a way trust him, if that makes any sense. Well, I know that um, what really helped me with this character was, um, you know, the whole look that the character had, but even the sets that had been designed for this. I think visually, I think this series is, um, is certainly going to be one of the most interesting things that I've worked on and the look and the sort of what the TVA, the paranoia uh, sort of big brother aspect uh, to it that is going to be, um, I think that's going to be, you know, disconcerting and interesting to people. Yeah, my experience working with Kate and what I appreciated, um, you know, about, you know, Kate's background and shows that she had worked on was that she was very open and encouraging to any ideas that we had and, um, and kind of explaining if, if I did have a question about uh, sort of the, um, you know, kind of what exactly was happening sometimes. Um, and so it's just very easy to talk to. And, uh, and then working with Tom was great. And the, um, I really appreciated kind of the time before we started filming where um, he, you know, kind of, we called it the Loki school, kind of explaining the whole MCU and all his sort of his, his character's journey uh, because um, a lot of that, uh, um, you know, helped inform the way I, my character related to him. What I hope uh, fans experience in watching this show is that they're, you know, that we're taking them into a new world and that they're seeing something they haven't seen yet in the MCU and that it's a, uh, a story that um, is, that they're going to find, I think, uh, compelling. Hey, stay with me as I'm more on superhero movies. Now, Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa very nearly ended up in the MCU. Now, Momoa was going to be cast as Drax, but Marvel were unwilling to pay him what he wanted. And meanwhile, Gal Gadot was offered the chance to play Nebula. Now, that would have left the Justice League looking very different. Now, do you like my t-shirt? You can get one too. The link is in the description.